Yes, guys, what's going on? It's Ned here, back once again for Pro Direct Soccer. And today, we're with Demi Dezeo. How are you, Demi? Good. So, Demi, you're the co-founder and the owner of Bula. How does that feel? It uh, feels very good. Uh, we started this brand uh, in 2013, and the idea was to make a brand for the lives of a football player, so really off the pitch, and that's what we are today. And I think we, uh, yeah, we have come a long way, but uh, we are here now with uh, with you and Puma, so uh, great. So obviously you played professional yourself, so you have that insight. You know what it's like to be a footballer. Uh, tell me about that lifestyle. What is it that ball is like? And now it's more hard to be a baller because when I was playing there was not no social media there was nothing you can just go on the street and yeah it was fine I was not the big player but you, you played now, in the World Cup you know yeah yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I, but if you're now a football player you can't come anywhere without someone seeing you yeah. and I think that's really yeah for for your lifestyle it's really hard you are really almost stuck to your home and I think that's uh, I think really a problem for football players but yeah, it's uh, still good life. <laughs> so Bull Leather Brand, obviously you guys stand for premium, you're all about lifestyle. What is, what is in your head when you make the collections for Buller and the image of the brand? What do you want to be? The first thought was to make it all black, so most, most of the stuff is black or silver or white because football players, uh, they want, don't want to see, like some players really want to see, but really show off in the outfits. But for me it was always, okay, make something that you don't recognize easy a football player and that's always the yeah when we start design it's always okay if a football player walks in this from his car to the dressing room etc how does he feel and how does it look and yeah you see players spend most of the time uh, on clothes and watches etc and that's yeah that's the life of a, of a football player we like to to bring in clothes and it's never been more important as a player to look good right you said no. it yourself now there's so much social media so much yeah. coverage so is that why i think you feel like there's an opportunity to like work with these players and make them look good off the pitch as well yeah because when you're gonna start competing against uh, the big sports brands uh, all the players wear boots on the pitch if you're gonna make boots nobody sees us and you see now other brands try to make boots but there's still only a couple yeah that that are the boss on, on the field so we start to make uh, a brand off the pitch because there were not not one brand that's really doing off the pitch. You see some big brands, they start a little bit to do some lifestyle, but now these days everything is high fashion, lifestyle, everything is between. And I think we are, yeah, we, when we started, we, yeah, we recognized that this is gonna be the trend. And yeah, that's what uh, I think what Baller really is, really a lifestyle, a lifestyle brand. <laughs> in 2013 yeah. and now six years later you've got a collaboration with Puma yeah. like why was Puma the right brand for you guys to collaborate with uh, because they do a lot of uh, collabs and they they work with a lot of influencers and they are really pushing against the lifestyle of course they're boots and they're really on the pitch but they also making a lot of content off the pitch and when we talk we said okay what can we do and so we started with a on the pitch and off the pitch collab and yeah I think that fits really really well. I think that's quite interesting for Baller because this is the first time that you're actually going to be on the pitch as well right because you said it yourself the brand was about lifestyle off yeah. the pitch and now you have an on pitch collection. Cool. Yeah we get a lot of letters from brands uh, don't send stuff to our players uh, they can't wear them we pay them so much and now Pumas uh, yeah the first one that recognize okay then 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 work together because we have a lot of requests from players that are with yeah with big sponsor contracts and, but they love our stuff and but we say yeah we can send to you we have a contract and we don't want to get in troubles and now with Puma yeah we get all the recognitions from all the players they say yeah send me the stuff and we say okay sorry we have only one player that can play on the boots but uh, yeah so talk us through the collection so the first thing obviously the off pitch we got the tracksuit you're wearing here yes tell me a little bit about the design of the hoodie yeah the hoodie was uh, of course we, we made a really uh, yeah like a, a chest for a club logo and that's what Puma said okay we have the two brands and like Baller really like a sponsor and yeah that's what we made and we made uh, of course black <laughs> of course black and yeah we we were struggling with the branding where we can do it and then they come up with this uh, 
silhouette to make uh, yeah yeah that was the underneath the net thing. yeah so that was really cool because if you put it like really like this it was yeah too much in your face and now it's yeah it feels really comfortable and yeah you can see that players really love to wear this to the club and and you kept that kind of premium look and feel to the collection as well right yeah because this is really to go to the training to to take your boots in your hands and to yeah to, to make a training cool and then you mentioned the boots so let's have a look at the boots so here we go we got the puma future baller edition tell yeah. me a little bit about the design that we have here yeah because it's oh, this the, sh the boots i played on last week <laughs> this is the really were you the first player to wear them on pitch yeah yeah i get permission i get permission <laughs> But you see now with all the brands, they have a lot of colors. And yeah, when I come into the dressing room and I took my black boots, everybody, black. Why you have black boots? But I like black and with the silver, it's yeah, yeah it's really is. standing out. And yeah, I think I really love the boot because yeah, it just, it just feel good. You don't have to show off, okay, I have a, a yellow or a green or a, the crazy colors they bring out uh, all these days. And with black, it's just natural. And it feels like a, a boot where players wear when they have to get a new a new boot or a new silhouette. They always play on the black first yeah. before the color comes. And this is just... But you're right. I think having a black boot in a way now makes you stand out. On yeah, picture. because everybody has a color and I, yeah, I love black. And it really fits well with, uh, yeah, with all the clothes. You mentioned that one player is going to wear them. Yeah. Antoine Griezmann is going to be yeah, wearing yeah, these yeah. boots. So for Baller to have Griezmann on pitch wearing the Baller boot, that's a cool story, right? Yeah, really cool story because when I was watching his documentary on Netflix and you see he was always too small, nobody wants him and yeah, it's similar to me. I was also really, I'm still small, but <laughs> yeah, I had the same feeling. I was always too small. I want to be world champion. It was my dream as a kid and he had the same dream. And when you see his documentary, he talks about all the fouls he gets from all the clubs and now he's world champion. He made friends, I think, uh, yeah, with all his goals and assists almost alone uh, champions and yeah then he's for me the yeah the bigger baller we can get was not possible also part of the collection we have the baller jersey as well yeah yeah tell me a little bit about the design here yeah they they asked for us to make an, a pattern so really uh, all over print and yeah we made it and they had the silhouette with the puma in the yeah nice like retro kind of detailing on the color yeah and it looks really cool and uh yeah. And this is the same like hexagon design that you guys obviously yeah, have become we are famous, famous for, uh, yeah, for the hexagon the and yeah, it's, it looks really cool and I think uh, you will see here a lot of influence also with this jersey and I think a jersey is much more and yeah, like a style item than it's like before and in the in the past you can go with a with a jersey to a club but I think now it's yeah, always, yeah it's almost normal and it's uh, yeah, really a revolution. <laughs> So you are living the life of the baller. You are the original baller. So we have a few questions for you yes. that will, you can give us the definitive answer on what is a baller, okay? okay. All right, so first question for you, favorite car? With this in the back, I, I will still say G-Wagon because G -Wagon. yeah, G-Wagon is, is my dream car and I really love everything about it. Favorite watch? Uh, I think Rolex. Always good to have a Rolex and of course you have nice brands, but Rolex always keep the classic. And, I think every football player has a role. Uh, favorite holiday destination? Uh, Dubai, for sure. <laughs> Why Dubai? Why do you love Dubai so much? The weather is always good. There are the best restaurants and all, all football players are there now. You can really, if you're a football player, you can really go to all the restaurants without everybody making pictures because everybody's there, even big actors, NBA stars, music stars, everybody's there. So for me, Dubai is yeah, the best place. Favorite football stadium to play in? Yeah, I, where I played was in uh, the stadium of Madrid and Barcelona, but Madrid was yeah, was nice. It was so big. It was uh, didn't came end. You look, oh man, but it was really really nice. But I think the best game for sure with the fans was uh, to play in Galatasaray Stadium. That was the atmosphere was crazy. Is that in the new stadium? Yeah, the Turk Telecom. Yeah, we opened with Ajax the stadium, and when we walk on the pitch, they and then they recognize, oh, they come for us. This new stadium open, and then they start clapping, and yeah, it was really, really crazy. Favorite shirt number? I always play with twenty, so for me, twenty is special. Favorite city to live in? I think also Dubai. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I live in The Hague, it's also good, but I, yeah, I love Dubai, everything. For you, who is the ultimate baller player that is out there now? The player, I think Ronaldo, because he's, his lifestyle. Uh, also Benzema. 
because he make good content. Yeah. He really show off that he is the baller with nice videos and uh, yeah, always nice cars. And but the, the ultimate baller is not a football player, but that is Lewis Hamilton for me. He is <laughs> just first class to Shanghai. Next day he is in London and front row. Uh, his friends are every everyone is his friends and. He's always with social media, and I think he's really, yeah, the ultimate baller for me. Okay, what about your music to listen to before a game or when you're just in your car? Now I listen mostly to Dutch rap music, and they're really coming up. And Dutch rap is good. Really good. Yeah, they're really. Uh, give the give the guys something to listen to. Who should they check out? Uh, Snelle, uh, Frenna, Boof, Little Kleine, uh, Jo Silvio is really famous, and yeah, we're really really good. Uh, Busy is really really good. Yeah. This gets streamed a lot. It's crazy. <laughs> Trap is where it's at. Yeah, now. yeah, you really need to listen. I think it's really good. Cool, and then finally, favorite place to eat? Izakaya. Yeah. <laughs> Izakaya is the best. And they will be in London for sure. A little bit like Zuma or uh, Novikov. And, but Izakaya is for me really the best. Demi, thank you so much, bro. Yeah, you too. Always good to see you. And there you go, guys. That's the new Puma Ball Lab collaboration collection. It's available now on ProDirectSoccer.com, so go check it out. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.